How to make t-shirt mock-up in Photopea. Good day folks and welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how you can go through Photopea and you can make t-shirt mock-ups quickly and easily and you can make them look really realistic as well. So let us jump straight in. The first thing you want to do is sign up for a account with Photopea and you can see over here this is what the interface looks like. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a new project and instead of creating a new project we're going to just go ahead and we're going to say open from computer now what will basically happen when you say open from computer is you'll be allowed to import an image which is going to be your actual t-shirt so as you can see over here i'm going to import this t-shirt over here and i'm going to say open now you can see that it is automatically opened up this image so you're going to go up now to the left hand side and you are going to tap on file now once you've tapped on file you're going to go down and you're going to look for the item that's called open and place now open and place allows you to import an item on top of this original image as a layer rather than open up a completely new file so open and place and now you're going to choose the text or the image that you want to put on to your t-shirt so I've now chosen some text that I want to add onto my t-shirt and you can see that currently it is selected so you're just going to uh, click down and you'll be able to move it around as to wherever it is that you would like. So you can see over here I'm going to put it just over here on the chest and if you want to nudge it left and right up and down you can just use your arrow keys and you can get it into the exact position that you want it in. So we're going to make some adjustments so that the image can look a little bit more realistic than what it currently does. We're going to go over to the right hand side and if your toolbar looks like this, you can just actually open that up by using the two arrows up at the top. And you can see once you click that, you will have the layers at the bottom over here. So what we're going to do is we are going to make sure that we have an additional back layer so we're not going to select the text that is going on to the t-shirt we are going to select the background and we're going to right click on that and you are going to look for duplicate layer and we're going to tap on that now as you can see over here it has background copy and background now we're going to click down on our background and as you can see you can now move it around we are going to put it above the actual text that we are putting on to the t-shirt now you can see that it is actually covering the text altogether however keeping that in selection we are going to go up and just beneath layers there is a tab that says normal and this is the blending option so you're going to tap on that and you're going to go down the line and you're going to look for hard light now once you tap on hard light you will actually see that the image has started to come through now the reason we're doing this is because it's going to take on the folds of the actual t-shirt and it's going to look more realistic if we do it like this so from here you're going to go ahead and you're going to select the mock-up or the text or the image that you're putting onto your t-shirt and we're going to go up to the image tab on the toolbar which is third from the left next to file and edit and we're going to open that now from there you're going to look for adjustments and under adjustments on the drop down menu you're going to look for hue and saturation and you're going to tap on that now you can see over here that you have hue saturation and lightness and what you're going to do is you're going to take the saturation which is the middle dial and you're going to take it all the way down and you are now going to tap on ok the next thing you want to do now with that background copy is right click on that and the options that you will see now you will go almost to the bottom and you will see a clipping mask option now once you are there you're going to tap on that clipping mask option now what this basically allows you to do is in the next step that we are going to use we will only actually be playing with the color blending and the lighting of the actual image that you're putting onto your mock-up t-shirt so we're going to go up again onto your toolbar on to the image tab and we are going to go down and look for adjustments and after adjustments we're going to go ahead and we're going to look for the curves tab which is third from the top now once you've opened this curves tab it does look quite complex but it is 
relatively simple. We're going to have a look at the shadows as well as the highlights of the actual image. Now on this straight line over here, wherever you put your mouse cursor down and click, you'll create a marker. And while you're holding that marker down, you'll be able to move it around. So we're going to go ahead just around about here and we are going to move it around there just a little bit lower. So you can start to see that the image is actually coming out from the t-shirt. We're going to leave it just more or less over there. And then you're going to make another mark about a quarter way down from the top. You're going to click down and you are going to pull that down about over there. So now you can see that this actually looks as if it's on the t-shirt because it is taking in the folds of the t-shirt. It doesn't just look like an image on top of the t-shirt. So you can see now um, that there is a lot of space for adjustments here. And really what you can do is sort of play around with these markers. I mean, of course, you're clicking down. You can see what difference it makes as you're going about. And you can just play around with them until you actually are happy with the image image that you see. When you're done, you're going to go ahead and you're going to tap on OK. And there is now your image on your t-shirt. It is a great realistic mockup. Now to export this image, you're going to go up to your toolbar. Again, you're going to look for file and you're going to go down and you're going to look for export as. Now you want to export this as a JPEG and you're going to tap on that. It is second from the top. And here you can see what your image actually looks like. And you want to make sure that this quality is on 100%. And then you want to make sure that this height over here is 2000. Now, the reason I say it should be 2000 is because you want to make sure that your image quality is as good as possible when you are importing it into your platforms that you're selling your actual products. There we go, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash up that like button. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section below, and we'll see you in another awesome video. Happy designing, people. Cheerio.